what can you say that uh, already has not been said about Rowdy, Rowdy Piper? The guy was a legend, an icon, Hall of Famer. We know all that. He's one of the best talkers in the wrestling business. We know all that. He's one of the best at promos and just tearing somebody a new asshole. We know that. I mean, Piper's Pit, he made that a household name. I mean, you had guys after Piper's Pit try to copy it. You had shows like The Cutting Edge, Highlight Reel, and stuff like that. But there will never be another, another Piper's Pit, and nobody will ever do it as good as Rowdy Piper did it when he was a host of Piper's Pit in his own show. Uh, I'm going to just, in this video, I'm going to just give my thoughts on uh, the news on the passing of Rowdy Rowdy Piper when I found out and how I felt. I'm going to talk about his wrestling career and make a part two tribute video for Rowdy Piper. Uh, I'm going to make a part two tribute just talking about his wrestling accomplishments and his wrestling career and what he did in the ring and on the microphone. Um, I found out last night, 9 o'clock, I think it's 9 o'clock, I just got home, I went out to a movie, and uh, I log on Twitter, as I said it's 9 o'clock, and then I see the number one trend on Twitter, it was Rowdy Piper. And I thought, uh, I had a really bad feeling about it. And I thought, why would Rowdy Piper be trending number one? Why does any wrestler trend number one when there's no wrestling events on television? So, the only reason a wrestler usually trends number one is because... They passed away. So I clicked on Roddy Piper's name. And I almost. almost wish I didn't. Because when I clicked on his name. It became true. I started seeing all these articles. About Roddy Piper passing away. And Roddy Piper passed away. From a heart attack. On Friday. In his sleep. But. If I went to click on his name. And found out last night. I would have just found out today. Or I would have found out from my Twitter. Interactions. People. A couple people tweeted me and said. That Roddy Piper. Did I hear about Roddy Piper that he died. So I didn't get the news until 9 p.m. I'm sure uh, the news came out probably four, four or five hours before I found out. But I wasn't on Twitter or social media for all those hours. So, it was when I found out and when I clicked on Rowdy Piper's name on the, as the number one trend, it was uh, more than heartbreaking. Um, I feel like... I lost a friend and just I just feel like I lost a fan a uh, really good family member I know Roddy Piper is not my family member but I still feel like I knew, knew the man from watching him on television since I was three years old I grew up when I I grew up in an era where Hawk Hogan was around and he was on top, where Rowdy Piper was around and he was on top. He was the number one heel in the WWF in the 80s when I started watching wrestling. So Rowdy Piper is part of my childhood. 
And now that part of my childhood is gone. I don't know what to say about this. It's it's uh, very depressing. But I'm going to try not to be depressed about it. I did watch some of uh, Rowdy Piper's DVD, Born to Controversy, on the WWE Network this morning. I watched that, and uh, I did not cry yet about it. But I'm man enough to a admit that I will probably cry if they do a Raw tribute video and show uh, Rowdy Piper's career in a tribute video. I'm man enough to admit I'll probably cry then. So I watched some of the Rowdy Piper's DVD and it's great. It's a great DVD. It's available on the WWE Network in the uh, Beyond the Ring section of the network. And I also watched uh, an old Tuesday Night Titans from I think June, June 1984. And Roddy, <clears throat> Roddy Piper was a guest. And he, uh, Lord Alfred Hayes uh, was a guest host sitting next to him on the couch. And he just he said Roddy Piper wasn't a dignified person or something like that. And he pissed off Roddy Piper big time. And I think this, I don't know if uh, Piper, if this was set up. If Piper told uh, Lord Alfred and that he was going to slap him in the face really hard and really stiff, but he did. He, got, he stood up and Roddy Piper yelled at Vince McMahon. Vince McMahon was the host of Tuesday Night Titans, if you didn't know. It was like a late night style WWF late night talk show where they had wrestlers as a guest every week and some legends as guests. So Roddy Piper stood up and yelled at Vince McMahon, You're a piece of garbage. He screamed it at him. And that was uh, Roddy Piper's boss. Roddy Piper didn't care. He was a rebel. He he said what he, he said whatever he wanted to say. He didn't listen to anybody. He didn't play any backstage politics to get his way or to get a world championship. He didn't do any of that bullshit. He didn't backstab other talent. He didn't do that. So after he screamed at Vince McMahon, you're a piece of garbage. And then he slaps Lord Alfred Hayes in the face really hard. As I said, it's available on the network. It's a Tuesday Night Titans from June 84. And just go to June 84 or July 84 and you'll see a picture of Rowdy Piper sitting down on a chair with his uh, arms like this with his arms folded and just click on that Tuesday Night Titans and it's towards the end of the show right before the end of the show it's where he slaps Lord Alfred Hayes it's uh, classic and it's funny as hell uh, and as I mean, Hogan does deserve a lot of credit for the WWF's success in the 80s because he was a top <clears throat> babyface. But Rowdy Piper does not get enough success in my does not get enough praise. Not success, but Rowdy Piper does not get enough praise for what he did. Hogan could have not have been a as over as he was if he did not have Roddy Piper to fight against and wrestle against. Roddy Piper was the number one heel in wrestling, period. And I don't think we'll ever again see another uh, heel like Roddy Piper. He was very good in the ring. He was one of the best talkers in wrestling. Him... Roddy Piper, Dusty Rhodes, Ric Flair, in my opinion, three of the best talkers ever. And now, there's only one of them 
that's alive. Uh, Dusty Rhodes death. It was very sad, very sad. And it, it was just very sad. But he was 69 years old. That's a pretty old guy. But he still didn't deserve to die. And he should have lived at least 10 more years. Roddy Piper was 61. And uh, I never thought Roddy Piper would pass away. In his 60s, I thought Roddy Piper would live forever. I know that's stupid, but I just thought Roddy Piper would live 20 more years at least. But now him and Dusty are gone. And, uh, the last, last Friday, you had WWF fire Hawk Hogan. Very tragic, very sad. Hogan's career is probably over. I don't see him ever returning. I hope he would return someday and get forgiveness from the fans. But I don't know if he ever will. I can't predict the future. I don't know what the hell is going to happen with Hogan and the WWE in the future. I have no clue. And I'm not going to try to guess. So Hogan gets fired. Not that this has anything to do with Rowdy Piper's death. But it's kind of odd that they happened a week apart. Hogan was fired by WWF on my birthday. Last Friday, July 24th. July 31st, Friday. Rowdy Piper then passes away. That's just, I think that's, that's, uh, that's odd. Because Hogan and Piper had such a connection as a rivalry their entire careers. And then you have Hogan get fired. And then a week later, on the same day, you had Roddy Piper pass away. There's, uh, some type of connection there, but I don't know what it is. I mean, Dusty Rhodes, his death, that broke my heart. And, uh, as a wrestling fan, to if you're a big-time wrestling fan, like I am, uh, we've lived through a lot of these deaths. We have lived, I mean, if you're over 25 years old, you know what I'm talking about. We've lived through, I mean, probably 60 plus wrestlers dying. And uh, I'm not saying you had to be a fan of all of them. But there are a lot of guys, a lot of wrestlers from our childhood have died. Big Boss Man, Road Warrior Hawk, uh, Rick Rude, Mr. Perfect, uh, Hercules. Adrian Adonis, now Rowdy Piper, Dusty Rhodes. There's so many others, I can't even think of them all. One of the greatest of all time, Macho Man Randy Savage, has passed on. And, uh, look, I don't know what the hell to say about this. I just wanted to make a video to share some of my feelings about Roddy Piper passing away. I looked up to Roddy Piper. The guy is an icon. And uh, what he did in wrestling will live on forever. Thankfully, uh, through the WWE Network, people forever and ever for generations uh, for the next 5, 10, 15, 20 years, 25 years, 30 years from now, we'll still be able to see what Roddy Piper did and how great he was. Because if you did not see him in his prime, uh, that it's, that's a shame that you didn't if you're younger. 
but you can see a lot of his stuff when he was in his prime on the WWE Network. He was just, he was so good. He was, a, he was the total package. He could wrestle, he could talk, he could make uh, the crowds riot, get so angry at him that they'd want to riot. People uh, in Puerto Rico and Mexico, the crowd would, would get so angry at him, they would try to sta stab him and throw batteries at him. And they would throw piss on him. So, he was super great at being a heel in the wrestling business. There's no doubt about that. Everybody knows that. And they're, they're just, I mean, it, as I said, Dusty Rhodes broke my heart. But Rowdy Piper's death, when I found out about it Friday night, that was a stab right through my heart. That was a knife right through my fucking heart. It's It sucks. It sucks. It sucks. When I found out Roddy Piper died, I couldn't believe it. I was in shock. I was in fucking shock. And I, I know it's true, but I still don't want to believe it. Um, I'm sure I'll believe it. And it will really set in. If they do a tribute video for him on Monday Night Raw, then it will set in. And I'll probably cry like a little bitch. There's nothing wrong with crying. If you love the Roddy Piper, there is nothing wrong with crying and getting your emotions out. That's good for you. You shouldn't hold your emotions in because you're afraid to cry. I'm sure a lot of wrestling fans around the world are saddened by the passing of Rowdy Rowdy Piper. And I was really, uh, really shocked, as I said, and upset when I heard Rowdy Piper died. When I went on Twitter Friday night. But then after that, about five minutes after I heard it, I started thinking about all the great, great stuff he's done. Uh, they Live. He was in the movie They Live. It's a classic sci-fi sci horror movie. I don't know if it's a horror movie, but I think it's called a sci-fi movie. Uh, they Live. It's put out in 1988. If you don't know and if you've never seen it, it was directed by the famous horror director James Carpenter. Or John, not James, John Carpenter. Was a famous director. He was a good friend of Roddy Piper's. He put out a tweet last uh, yesterday. I retweeted it. You can find it somewhere on my Twitter page. He said uh, that he lost, that he was in shock, and he lost a great friend, and that Roddy Piper was an underrated actor. And I agree. Piper, I thought was great. And they live. That was one of the best. Uh, wrestlers acting jobs that a wrestler ever did in a movie in the 80s and even through the whole 90s they live was still the best acting a wrestler has done in a movie since The Rock has uh, came along and The Rock has been in a ton of movies so he has surpassed Piper of being the greatest wrestler to go to Hollywood and do a great job. But They Live was so awesome and I love that movie so much. I just started thinking about Piper and They Live and I just, I mean, it, I thought how, how great he was in that. So that brought a smile to my face. And... I mean, this, hearing the news about Roddy Piper, I won't be over it in probably for years. Probably two or three years it'll take me to get over this. Because he was an absolute icon of wrestling. A sport I love. I love pro wrestling. And Roddy Piper loved it. And he dedicated his life to it. 
and he didn't take any bullshit from Vince McMahon or anybody. When Vince McMahon wanted him to not uh, go and do They Live, he didn't listen to Vince. He basically said, F you, I'm going to do the movie because I want to do it. And Vince did not want him to do it uh, basically because he wanted to own all his talent back then and control them. The only guy Vince did not really control was uh, Rowdy Piper and Jesse Ventura. Because Jesse Ventura went off and did a couple movies. Uh, Predator and The Running Man with Arnold Schwarzenegger. So Jesse Ventura was also a rebel and didn't listen to Vince. And he also sued WWF, did Jesse Ventura and won over uh, past royalties, past the money he wasn't paid. And Roddy Piper was also the biggest outlaw and the biggest renegade. And that was definitely the right decision for Roddy Piper to go do They Live, the movie They Live, because it was fucking awesome. And then he would return in 1989 to the WWF. I'm sure Vince begged him to come back. I don't think he was looking really to come back. He was probably going to stay retired. But Vince probably begged him and offered him more and more money to come back. Because WWF still uh, needed Roddy Piper in the late 80s and early 90s. They still got a lot out of Roddy Piper. And he was a fan favorite, for sure, when he returned in 89. And he was a real, real fan favorite in 1992 when he won his first title, the Intercontinental Championship at Royal Rumble 92. So he was a big fan favorite. I mean, every time, even, even last year, when he returned on Raw... For uh, WWE celebrating Hulk Hogan's 60th birthday. Or whatever it was. 61st birthday. You had Roddy Piper. You had the bagpipes hit. And Roddy Piper came out. And he got a huge pop. And a huge big standing ovation. So he was even a fan favorite. And the people still. The wrestling fans still loved Roddy Piper. Even in 2015. And 2014. And I loved Roddy Piper. He's uh, one of my favorite wrestlers. For sure. His promos were epic. His feuds were great. With a lot of uh, guys. Like Hawk Hogan. He had a feud with Rick Rude. It was really short. But they had a great feud. He had a feud with Bad News Brown. That was memorable. At WrestleMania 6. And uh, I'm going to just share a couple. Two Roddy Pipers. Two of Roddy Piper. Just some Roddy Piper merchandise I have. I'll just share it. I'm going to end this video. Because I don't know what the hell else to say. I just. All I want to say is. Uh, it was a stab in the, in my heart. When I heard Roddy Piper pass, and I loved him. And it really sucks that he's gone. And we'll never, ever, ever get to see him again on WWE television. Uh, this right here is Roddy Piper's book. In the Pit with Piper. I believe it was released in, I don't know, 2003 or four. Uh, it's a great read. This is uh, Roddy Piper's book, In the Pit with Piper. I'm really glad I bought this uh, over 10 years ago. And I'm really glad I have it. Because he's gone now. There's a lot of great pictures in here. Uh, colored pictures. See a couple right here. Roddy Piper with the IC title. Roddy Piper with uh, uh, 
Roddy Piper with his good friend Ric Flair. Pictures are shown in here. See him right there. Throwing Ric Flair off the top. And a great picture right there. There's uh, Piper's book. And another item. Raleigh Piper action figure. WCW action figure. Right here. Uh, you, Rowdy, you will sure be missed. Rowdy, Rowdy Piper. You will be missed every day. By, uh, I'm sure by your family. And your friends. That knew you, that were good friends of yours. And you, you will really be missed by wrestling fans. And you'll really be missed by me. Uh, I'm going to really miss you. And it sucks big time that I'll never get to see you again. Return on Monday Night Raw and do another Piper's Pit. And you were an icon and an all-time great. And I loved you, Roddy Piper. Rest in peace.